Hi. This tutorial talks about how to do lip sync in Anime Studio or Moho. Now there are many different ways that you can do it. You can do it manually or with Papagayo or the built-in tools in uh, Moho. But I found all of those approaches uh, lacking and so I wrote my own script to do lip sync and I've included it in the Super Pack. So this tutorial is going to focus on using uh, the script that I've written in order to do lip sync and specifically how to do lip sync with the characters that I've created in the content packs. So the first thing that you need to do is install the script and to do that you have to have a content folder set up underneath help set the content folder and here we're uh, working through Anime Studio 10 but there's similar ones for 11 and 12. So if you look in that location here um, it will create it for versions 10 and 11 it will create an Anime Studio Pro location. If you're using Debut you may have to go into uh, the location there where it's installed and I think under resources and look underneath support and there should be a scripts folder and underneath there you'll see a menu tool and utility so whether you're looking under the factory uh, setup tools or your own custom content location you will see this menu tools and utility now once you've unzipped the lip sync zip file it will have a lip sync readme that explains what I'm walking through right now so it describes all of the details um, and even goes beyond what I'm going to show right now. And you can use the script for both uh, mouths that have switch layers and mouths that use bones to control um, the mouth. So once you go into the lip sync folder, like I said, there's a tools utility in that readme, go into the tool location and just going to copy those two files, the MS lip sync Lua and the PNG that's the icon for it and you're just going to copy that and paste it into the tool folder where you want the script to be then you do a similar thing you go into the utility folder and you collect uh, copy all of the files that are there and put them into the utility folder where you want them to be now, the, most of these are utility files. Uh, the lip sync file has a setup for if you're using a character that has bone controls. So, like the dragon and um, gorilla in Anime Studio 11. But that file's not actually needed if you're doing standard switch layers like we have with the content pack. Okay, so once the files are in the proper location, when you start up Anime Studio or Moho, um, the icon for lip sync will show up underneath the tools location. And here I have a character, Harold, from the content pack, and we're going to show him with lip sync. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the library, and I'm going to drill into the audio location, and under partner DK Tunes, find something interesting there. So in this case I'm going to go underneath audio boy responses and select the I'm not sure and load that in by clicking on the double arrows or double check boxes. And just to show uh, with another expression I'm going to select audio man questions. Hey how's it going? Now just to let you know I'm not actually clicking on it so that you can hear it. Uh, just add it to your file. Now to mute the saying I just make it invisible by clicking on the eyeballs and I'm going to press alt and right click around frame 42 because that's really the only amount that we need right now. So we hear one phrase I'm not sure and we can listen to the other phrase. Notice that if the phrase is selected it shows up in the timeline if it's invisible, it doesn't show up if it's selected. So let's start with the I'm not sure phrase. 
and I'm going to go to Herald and drill down into the head and into the mouth and select the mouth layer and I'm actually going to turn off all the bones here by clicking on this checkbox and let's listen to the phrase I'm not sure and here's how we're going to do the lip sync we're going to select the, li select the lip sync tool and on the timeline I'm going to start at the beginning then I'm going to come into the workspace and I drag until the timeline marker goes to where I want to stop so I'm just going to drag here and a dialog will come up giving us the start frame, the end frame, the text string that we're going to enter and consonants per frame, you can, you can change that if you want to, but all the defaults should work well. So I'm going to type in, I'm, but I'm not going to use any apostrophe, not sure. Now specifically I don't have an apostrophe. If I use a letter, a vowel with a capital, it will pronounce it long. So a uh, little i will sound i. And a capital I will sound I. An O is A, and a capital O is O. The other thing that I want you to notice is this phonetic spelling. So um, if you sound out the words not necessarily the way they're spelled, but the way that they sound, it actually works a little bit better. Let me show you what I mean by that. So first, here I spell it, I'm not sure the way you would read it and I'm going to click on OK. Now that works OK, watch. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But if we look carefully, it ends with a, a vowel sound. So it oh, seems to be throwing sure. in an extra vowel. So what I'm going to do is delete all these keys and I'm going to try again. So I'm going to scrub that area again. Sure. And notice that it brings up that same text that I had. And in this case, what I want to do is I want to get rid of that last E. Because if you think about it, that's a silent E in English. Now, I could put an SH here, um, but the program will interpret that just as um, the same as an S. You'll get used to that after you try it some. And let's see what when I click on OK what that gives us. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So that gives us a better lip sync. So let's delete those keys and go back up here and turn off that phrase and turn on the other one. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? So the thing that I want to show here is there's kind of a pause. He says, hey, and holds it a little bit, and then how's it going? So you can do that in a couple of ways. If you um, enter multiple characters, like multiple A's, it'll hold it longer, so it just holds it. But we can also do it in another way, just by doing a lip sync for the first part and a lip sync for the second part. So let me go back and make sure that, yes, we've got the mouth layer selected. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do the hey first. Hey. Now I'm going to highlight that text and H and I'm going to actually use a capital A. Hey, so I'm spelling it phonetically and I'm going to click on OK. So what you see is the, the H is an etc type of phoneme and then the A is starts right away and holds it. Now I'm going to find the location where how's it going start. <laughs> Now I'm going to come to the workspace and scrub to the end. How's it going? Now I'm going to enter in. How's it going? And again, I'm using the phonetic spelling here. Now let's see what that looks like. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? And there you have it. That's all there is to doing lip sync 
with my uh, lip sync script in the content packs. Hope you enjoy it. There's one other thing that I want to mention with respect to lip sync and uh, the tutorials. Uh, because of the screen capture, there is a little bit of delay in terms of what you see visually and the sound linkage that uh, makes it look like the li lip sync doesn't match as well as it actually does. So you should give it a try um, when you uh, are working through it. But here in the tutorial, it doesn't match. Uh, it, visually, you can't see how well it matches in the program.